Why isn't the paper shredder working? Why isn't the... I have to plug it in. Yeah! What? Hey, why isn't the coffee machine working? Chad, what? is it plugged in? Oh, I gotta plug it in. I gotta plug it in. Why isn't the Roomba working? Why isn't the Roomba working? I've got to plug it in. I've got to plug it in. Why is why isn't the Kindle charging? Why is it? I have to plug it in. Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and it is time to take some notes. So let's start up here with your name. And the title for this one is Plug It In. And we've done a similar lesson like this recently. Why isn't this focusing? There we go. And we're just gonna uh, do another type of plug it in thing. So in this case, we're gonna take a value y equals one and we're going to plug that into an equation in standard form 3x plus 2y equals 11 and my goal here is to figure out what is x so i'm going to take this guy right here and i'm going to plug it in right there And when I plug that in, I will have 3x plus, well, what's 2 times 1? 2 times 1 is 2. And now what I'm left with is a two-step equation. We're going to solve a two-step equation. I'm going to start by subtracting negative 2 from both sides. I'm going to bust out my red marker of death and destruction. That leaves me with 3x equals 9. Dividing both sides by 3. Red marker of death and destruction x equals 3. Let's do another one. Still in your notes? You probably don't write as big as I do, so this should all fit on one page for you. My next one is x equals 4. And I'm going to plug that into 2x plus 4y equals 20. In the previous example, I gave you a y and you plugged it in for y. In this example, I'm giving you an x and you're going to plug it in for x. So I'm going to do 2 times 4 and what I'm left with is a two-step equation. To solve this I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. That'll give me 4y equals 12 and I'll divide both sides by 4 that's going to give me y equals 3. Now, what we're really building here are ordered pairs. What we're really getting is 4, 3. We're getting a point, x, y. What we're really getting up here is, ready, x, y, 3, 1. Now that's not today's lesson, but that's what we're going to be looking for tomorrow when we take this to the next step. I'm looking for a point, 
because this we're talking about linear systems. That's what we've been working on. Let's do a couple more. So these are your notes for today. When you check in with me and show me your notes, this is what I expect to see. And here are two practice ones. And if you're watching this live, we'll talk about this. Let's see, I'm gonna give you y equals negative two, five, x minus 3y equals 30. I suggest pausing the video now and working this out. And then see if you got it right. If you're watching this live, I'll be pausing the video and giving you time to work this out. So I'm going to plug it in. Take that negative 2 and I'm going to put it in for y. 5x, negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Subtracting 6, subtracting 6. Well, I did not anticipate this problem being wonky like this, but we're okay, we're still good. I thought when I built this problem, it was going to work out cleaner. It's not. That's all right. I'm just checking my work. Minus 6, minus 6. Yes. So that's going to give me, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. I better get a calculator, right? It's going to go decimal on me. It's about to go decimal. It's going to go to, what's that? 4.8? 4. 4. 4. Let's see. 24 divided by 5. 24 divided by 5. No, oh my goodness. I'm having a rough video here. What are my settings on this? I must have some kind of crazy settings going. 24 divided by five is 4.8. So that's a little bit weird. I didn't expect it to go decimal, but hey, it still worked. Let's do another one. Let's go with X equals negative five. And we're going to plug that into 2x plus 5y equals negative 30. I gave you an x, so we're going to take that x and we're going to plug it in right there. If you're doing this at home, go ahead and pause it and come back. If you're doing it live, I'll pause it for you in a moment. Plug it in. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Plus 5y equals negative 30. Adding 10 to both sides. Red marker of death and destruction. Five y equals negative 20. Dividing both sides by 5 y equals negative 4. And remember, what we're finding here is a point. We're finding negative 5 comma negative 4. We don't know that yet, but negative 5 comma negative 4. That's really what we're looking for when we um, go to tomorrow's lesson. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing okay. I don't know if you noticed, but my audio should be better on this video. I've got a new microphone going. Uh, you know, trying to keep it looking good. Hey, thanks for watching and I will see you later.